Watch yourself, he's coming up. Who is? Osborne. I've just dodged him on the stairs. Whatever you do, don't ask him how he is. He's got a list of symptoms as long as your arm. Look, you could show a bit of sympathy, Rigsby. He's not been well. Not bit me. You don't believe that. He's as fit as you are. Well, I'm not fit. Oh, God, don't you start. No, I keep having these giddy spells. Uh, only when I mention the rent. <laughs> he, he, he's never out of the doctors. He spent so much time in that surgery, they've even consulted him on the new colour scheme. <laughs> I suppose you think he's a hypochondriac. Of course he is. My God, no wonder the National Health has grown into a halt. It'd be different if he had to pay for it. Well, he's entitled to treatment, Rigsby. He's paid in. Ah, it was different in my day. Ah, because you couldn't afford to be ill. They didn't see the colour of your money. You got the order of the blunt needle. <laughs> Look, they couldn't make you pay, Rigsby. Not even in them oh, days. Oh, yes, they did. If you didn't pay your bills, you came out of that hospital on a set of stumps. <laughs> well, you know, you'd make a terrible patient, Rigsby. You're so afraid. Afraid? Of course I'm not. What about the time I had that abscess on my tooth? The dentist said he'd never seen such spirit. Well, was that when you bit through his thumb? <laughs> it was a very painful operation, mate. He had his knee in my chest for over an hour. And he cracked me jawbone. I heard it go. But you can't endure pain. You spent most of the time on your knees begging for gas. And you don't like sick people either. That's why you don't like Osborne. Sick people make you nervous. Of course they don't. Good talk. Alan? Oh, hello, Rigsby. Hello, Osborne. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, not too good, Alan. I've just heard. I've got to go in. They say it's only a minor operation, but I think they want to get a good look at me. Would have thought they'd seen enough of you by now. <laughs> I shouldn't worry, Ozzy. You'll be in good hands. Yes. That's what I keep telling myself. Ooh, sooner you than me, mate. What do you mean? Very bad record, that hospital. They don't walk out of there very often. Too many rusty scalpels lying around. <laughs> oh, dear, I feel my chest pains coming on. Oh, look, dear. don't worry, Ozzy. You're all right. You'll get the best of attention. Yes, I understand. Nothing's too much trouble for them. Uh, what is it? Well, it's a bit delicate, really. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, come on, don't be shy. You can tell us. Well, it's a sort of, um, gentleman's operation. <laughs> He's having a vasectomy. <laughs> you watch your language. Now, listen, I don't want to be indelicate, Osborne, but you're a young man, single, one of these days, you'll meet a nice young lady, want to settle down and have children. Well, you won't be able to do that if you've had your firing pin removed. <laughs> I mean, you can store your seed. You can keep it in the freezer. Oh, yes, and what happens? Someone's only got to leave the fridge door up and you lose your son and heir along with the kittens. <laughs> Look, it, it's not a vasectomy. Well, what is it, then? You've left that a bit late, haven't you? <laughs> You're thinking of changing your religion, huh? I think it's just an excuse to get me in. I think there's more to it than that. You think that's just the tip of it? <laughs> you could be right. No, no, I shouldn't worry, Ozzy. Operations are very safe these days. Ooh, not that one, mate. That's the unkindest cut of all. <laughs> hey, who's doing it? Sinjit Khan or Mr Abdullah? No, Mr. McAllister. Oh, yes, yes, Mac the Knife. Yeah. <laughs> you want to watch out, you know what these Scotsmen are like? They love the pound of flesh. I think I'd better have one of my tablets. Oh, Do you yeah. mind if I have a glass of water? Look, keep calm, Ozzy. The odds are a million to one. Yes. yes. Against what? Well, against anything happening. Do you think something's going to happen? No. I have to be very careful. Uh, I've got a rare blood group. I have to wear this disc round my neck. Oh, yes. What do you say? Do not drain. <laughs> Look, Ozzy, you just keep calm. 
They say I have to sign this document. Yeah, that's just to give the surgeon permission to operate. It's perfectly normal. Oh, hey, mate, I'd read a small print if I were you. You might find you left your body to medical science. They wouldn't do that, would they? Oh, yes, yes, you've had a spare part surgery, haven't you? I wouldn't be surprised if you haven't already got somebody down for your kidneys. <laughs> Someone else for your heart, another one for your liver. Yeah. Mind you, you could end up more active dead than you were alive. <laughs> they couldn't do that, could they, Alan? Of course they couldn't. Not without your permission. Oh, that's oh. your next of kin. Yeah. Next of kin? Yeah. But I haven't got a next of kin. Uh, there you are. Look on the bright side. You won't be missed. <laughs> <laughs> There won't be anybody to ask any awkward questions like, what's happened to his liver? Oh, look, <laughs> shut up, Rigsby. Can't you see you're frightening, Ozzy? They can't take something out of you and put it in yes, someone else. It's out of the question. No, that I was only joking. No respectable surgeon to do anything like that. Anything left over, he'd take it home for his dog. <laughs> Excuse me, I don't feel very well. <laughs> now you've done it, Rigsby. <laughs> What's the matter with this? Ah, young Dr. Kildare made another wrong diagnosis. <laughs> He's seen Osborne sick. And you don't think so? Yeah, of course, but he's just malingering. I don't know. I don't like his colour. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's all in the mind. It's all psychology. Like when the witch doctor points the old leopard claw at you. What you do? Hand in your maze bow, wrap yourself in your blanket and off to your happy hunting ground. <laughs> Not anymore, Rigsby. We've come a long way since then. These days, we usually ask for a second opinion. And at least we don't have all these ailments that affect Western society. Now, of course you don't, because you're closer to nature, aren't you? Half the trouble in this country is caused by tight underpants. <laughs> you see, you, you lead a more natural existence, don't you? Of course we do. Yes. When there's sickness in my village, we know exactly what to yes, do. Yes, of course you. Well, what, what is that? We crush the leaves from the jam jam tree, mix it with the bile from the horned toad, add the venom of the um, cobra, and administer it three times a day. Mm. Oh, the jam jam tree. Does it work? Oh, they're up and about in no time. <laughs> no surprise. <laughs> really cures them, eh? Oh, yes. Well, it's either that or the penicillin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, very funny. <laughs> anyway, Osborne doesn't take me, and he's just trying to get at the basement. Are you sure, Rigsby? Yes. Could have a different motive. Getting a great deal of attention from Miss Jones. Is what? Well, you know how she likes to administer soccer, how she takes in puppies and birds. Well, it's the same with Osborne. She makes soup for him three times a day. Administer soccer, eh? Right, we'll see about that. Miss Jones? Oh, there you are, Miss Oh, <laughs> Miss Jones, my word, that smells good. Yes, Mr. Rigsby, I'm making some soup for Mr. Osborne. He's been doing wonders for his tubes. Uh, <laughs> oh, I see you're going to have a steak and kidney pie, Miss Jones. No, that's for Mr. Osborne, too. <laughs> I don't feel he's getting enough of the right food. He looks so pale, Mr. Rigsby. Shouldn't take any notice of that pallid complexion, Miss Jones. There's nothing wrong with him. I'm sure he's anemic. No, no, no. He's as much blood as we have. <laughs> no, it's just that his skin's thicker. It doesn't show through, that's all. Well, I don't see how I can be well, not living in that basement. Not after the wet winter we've had. It's so damp and dark down there. Even the mushrooms don't look very good this year. I don't think he's got anything to complain about at all, Mr. A very cosy little spot of that, may say so. Nice view of the road. Mr. Rigsby, he's on a level with the pavement. All he can see is people's legs. He's not a mole. Yes, I'm aware of that, Mr. And what about the time the Coleman mistook it for the cellar? He was engulfed in a ton of nutty slats. <laughs> But you see, he will not make the best of things, Miss Jones. I know his type. He enjoys being ill. I mean, we all have aches and pains from time to time, but we all don't go rushing around trying to rouse people's sympathy. Well, I think it's our duty to help others, Mr. Oh. Rigsby. We all need a cool hand on a fevered brow sometimes. That's why I'm taking up first aid, uh, so that I can be ready for any emergency. Oh, well, it's a very worthy ambition, Miss Jones, but are you sure you're the right type? You need this ruthless streak for nursing, and you're so tender-hearted. I mean, uh, think of that time we ran over the rabbit. You didn't know what to do. 
Yes, well, you can't give the kiss of life to a rabbit, Mr. Ritzford. <laughs> no, you're probably right, Mr. Well, what about the time the window cleaner fell off his ladder? You fainted three times. In the end, he had to get off the stretcher to make room for you. <laughs> But I'm getting better, Mr. Rigsby, and you wait one day. All this training will be worthwhile. And I do admire the medical profession. They're so selfless. Oh, yes, yes. Mind you, you tried getting those doctors out at night. <laughs> you can't get ours out, not if he's playing bridge. No, you have to shout your symptoms down the phone at him. The other night, there he was. Yeah. Very bad case, choking fit. He was on a grand slam, refused to go. And that was his mother. <laughs> yes. Mind you, I suppose you can't blame them with people like Osborne ringing up day and night. Yes, well, I know he gets into a state, but that doesn't mean he's not genuine. Now, think how you'd feel, Mr. Rigsby, if he was really ill. I was in the army and I recognise an old soldier when I see one. We had somebody exactly like Osborne in our company. Made out he had bad eyesight and flat feet. Well, the army was very considerate about his eyesight. They put him in a forward trench. <laughs> He saw the Germans before any of us. <laughs> and his flat feet didn't stop him breaking the United Services record for the half mile either. Well, I'd never forgive myself if I turned my back on someone in need. Oh, Mr. I suppose you're right. I hope Osborne enjoys his steak and kidney. Right. <laughs> Listen, Osborne, while the others are out, I want a word with you. Look, I'm not having you going into Miss Jones with these imaginary ailments all the time. I know what you're up to, mate. You're trying to take advantage of her good nature. You won't be satisfied till she's doing all your cooking and all your cleaning. Well, I'm on to you, mate. You take pills to make you sleep, pills to wake you up. I've got high blood pressure, low blood pressure. <laughs> the only things you haven't got are anthrax and Dutch elm disease. <laughs> Well, I've seen through you, mate. No answer to that, have you? <laughs> because you don't like the truth, you're as fit as I am. <laughs> Nothing to say. Eh? <laughs> hey, Os listen. Osborne, look at me when I'm talking to you. Osborne, hey, hey. better place. I mean, he's got a council flat. No. <laughs> well, I don't mean that. We won't be seeing him anymore. He's departed. What do you mean, he's dead? If you want to put it crudely, yes. <laughs> oh, poor old Osborne. And you always said he was faking. Oh, not this time, mate. <laughs> he's almost rigid when I found him. Are well, you sure he's dead? Oh, yes, yes. I mean, the ambulance was here in no time, but I could tell he was a goner, all right. Oh, God, it's a good job it didn't happen on the top floor, but I never got him down the stairs. <laughs> he was as stiff as a board. Oh, you should have seen him. My hands are still shaking. Poor Osborne. Yeah. Does Miss Jones know? No, not yet. I don't know how to tell her after what's happened. Oh, there you are. Has anyone seen Mr. Osborne? I wondered if he enjoyed the soup. <laughs> what was the matter? What are you all staring at? Afraid I've got some uh, rather bad news. Uh... Oh, I didn't leave the salt out again, did I? <laughs> no, uh, Osborne is dead. Oh, my God. Had he eaten it? No, no, no. <laughs> No, he hadn't touched it, Miss Jones. He was sitting, staring at it with a spoon in his hand, not, not moving a muscle. Poor Mr. Osborne. Yes, yes, sir. Know how you feel, Miss Jones. I've let the tears come. Yes. It's a terrible shock. Yes, it is. We were all very fond of him. But you weren't! <laughs> you saved your crocodile tears, Mr. Rigsby. You never showed him any sympathy. You hounded that poor man, keeping him in 
this miserable hovel. Oh, Stuart! Well, he's got to a better landlord now. Oh, he won't cut his water off and disconnect the gas. Please. Oh, Mr. Osborne, you never believed him. Please. Take Please. your hands off me. Man in black. <laughs> what are you dressed like that for, Expert? I might have known you two wouldn't understand. This happens to be a mark of respect. You look like the chief mourner. Well, I suppose I am the chief mourner. He had no next to kin, you know. There's no one else to mourn his passing. It's up to us to give him a good send off. Shouldn't we ring the hospital first? No, no, no. I told you, no. Life was definitely extinct. No. I've heard of the wonders of medical science. There's nothing they could do for Osborne. The no. only thing will improve him now is embalming fluid. <laughs> do you have to be so callous, Rigsby? Me? Callous? My, you sit there stuffing yourself and you call me callous. I haven't been able to touch a bite since he... How do you think I feel after what Miss Jones said to me? I mean, perhaps he might have been alive if it hadn't been for me. You can't blame yourself, Rigsby. It could have happened any time. Yes. Well, I'm going to make it up to him. I'm going to give him the best funeral this town's ever seen. No, what's the point, Rigsby? He's not in a position to enjoy it. <laughs> I happen to believe that when you're dead, you're dead. Ah, no, well, that's where you're wrong. You see, you're not dead. You're only sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> only sleeping? Yes. There's going to be a few complaints down a crematorium, then. Uh. <laughs> You can jeer, you can jeer. At least I'm not like you two. At least I believe in some things. I believe in something, Rigsby. I believe we're part of a cycle. We live, we die, we enrich the soil. Crops grow and feed the next generation. My God, that's your idea of a life after death, is it? Coming back as a bowl of cornflakes. <laughs> yeah. When my granddad died, we all went on to see a medium. Because they wanted to find out where he'd put his money. Uh, did he say what it was like? Yeah, he said it was all right, but he couldn't stand the sex and violence. <laughs> what do you mean, heaven's not like that? No, he wasn't in heaven. He was a rabbit on Salisbury Plain. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Madam, you don't believe all that reincarnation rubbish, do you? Why not? Look on the bright side, Rigsby. Next time, you might come back as a human being. Uh, <laughs> by the time you two showed some respect. Well, I can't stand all this weeping and wailing. Yeah, that's so tough with people nowadays. You see, they, they don't enjoy funerals like we used to do. Mad, oh, I shall never get my granddad's funeral. <gasps> it's wonderful. He was laid out in the front room there like Lenin's tomb. <laughs> and he looked marvellous, too. Mind you've been at Skegness the week before, didn't you? <laughs> hey, I knew there was something I wanted. Would you come? I want to show you something. I have a big key, yeah? Come on, leave that. Come on, come on. There, I did. There it is. Where is it? Here. Mm. <laughs> Coffin, you think it was a cocktail cabinet? <laughs> Where'd you get it from? Closing down sale. <laughs> lovely, isn't it? Look, look at that finish. They don't make them like this anymore. It was, um, it was for me, but I thought I'd let Osborne have them. You know, <laughs> the least I could do. You're macabre, No, I'm not. No. What do I want? Come on, give me a hand. I want to get out of here. Careful, careful, don't scrape it or scratch it. There, <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Solid oak. Look at that veneer. Yeah, it's all brass, all these handles are all brass, you know. It's worth going just for a ride in one of these. <laughs> 
Parker, I'm thinking of having my body frozen. <laughs> what? Yeah, they can do that, you know. Freeze your body, then await the advance of medical knowledge. Oh, my God, who's going to be in charge of the funeral arrangements? Bird's eye. <laughs> Sooner that than end up in one of these. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sir! <laughs> we are the Joker! <laughs> Mr. Rigsby, I want to apologize my little outburst. I shouldn't have said that. No, no, Miss Jones. I think you were quite right. I, uh, most people would agree with you, I think. No, but I shouldn't have said it. No. Uh, oh, you've got a lovely shine, no, Mr. Rigsby. What's it for? It's for Osborne. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my God, it's a coffin! Oh, yes. He's not in there, no, is he? No, no, not yet, Miss Jones. No. <gasps> No, I was just starting the preparations. I didn't want to leave it till too late. I always think that's best, don't you? Oh, I do agree yes, with you, yes. Mr. Rigsby. Mm. It's so important that these things go off smoothly. Yes, yes. I remember when Uncle Felix was buried at sea, just off Brighton. Mm. That was badly planned. Oh, dear. What happened, Miss Jones? Well, it was a very tasteful service, and we came away more than satisfied. Mm. Unfortunately, the next day he popped up at Worthing. Oh. He kept coming in and out with the tide. Oh, <laughs> oh very distressing. Oh, yes, Jones. it was, Mr. Rigsby. He couldn't stand Worthing. Mm. <laughs> I've planned a simple little ceremony, Miss Jones, up at the cemetery. Yes, yes, I've got a reserve plot I'm going to let him have. Yes, it stands well back. Very nice spot. You don't get many dogs up there. <laughs> and I thought a simple little inscription, Miss Jones, something like, oh, for the touch of a vanished hand and the sound of a voice that is still. Yes. Mm. Or yes. a rose has grown over the garden wall and blossoms on the other side. Oh, wonderful sentiment. Yes. Miss Jones, I wonder if I could prevail upon you to be the principal mourner. I know Osborne would have loved it. Oh, I don't know, Mr. Oh, Rixby. you'd look so wonderful in black, which I can just see you pale and translucent, dropping a single red rose on the coffin. Oh, yes, you'd be most decorative, Miss Jones. Well, I do have this velvet simply dying to be worn. Ah. <laughs> and a little hat with a veil. I wonder if I've got gloves and handbag to yes. match. I'll go and see. <laughs> Come in, boys. Yeah. What do you want? Oh, I've just brought Philip to have a look at the coffee. Oh, yeah, here it is. Yeah. Oh, Phil. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. It's a lovely piece of wood. Beautiful. It is a pity. Pity? What do you, what you mean? What's wrong with it? It's not big enough. You miss, of course it's big enough. <laughs> Tim. Of course it is. It isn't. Not for Osborne. Of course it is. Look at that. Look at that. That's plenty big. Look at that. You can easily get him in there. Of course you would. Oh, is that stool? Here, look, I'll show you. Look. There. That's the room. It's, uh, it's big enough for you, Rigsby, but uh, not for Osborne. He's taller than you. We'll have to chop his feet off. <laughs> Top, but of course you would look this look this plenty of room there, look at that, is it? No, no, we can't get the lid down. Of course you can get the lid down. Yeah, it'll squash your nose. You wouldn't scream me stuck. <laughs> Turn his head sideways. Yeah, there you are. See like that. Easily get it. Now try it now. There you are. Go on, try it now. There you are. <laughs>
We thought you were dead. Well, I nearly was. I must have taken too many of those tablets. Anyway, I ended up in the hospital with the screens around me. I'll never go there again. They were all set for open heart surgery until I started snoring. Well, oh, 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 um, you can't go in there. Why not? Uh, uh, you can't without seeing Miss Jane. She's very, very concerned about you. Oh, of course, Philip. How could I have been so insensitive? Excuse me. Look, we've got to get rid of the house a bit. We've got to get rid of the coffin so that the old one doesn't see it. Not in this condition. All right, Richmond, we're letting you out. Now. Oh! <laughs> That's torn it. Hello, Miss Jones. <laughs> I thought I'd let you know I've come back. <laughs> I wondered whether there was any soup left. You've come back for that? <laughs> What's the matter, Miss Jones? <laughs> Just like... Oh, my dear lady, you're in mourning. Oh. How could I have been so insensitive? <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> Just a friend. Then I won't disturb you in your hour of grief. No. I'll leave you. Thank you. <laughs> Look, stop charging. You're using precious oxygen. That's terrible, these things. You could suffocate in here. <laughs> well, normally it doesn't matter. Hey, let's take it outside, <laughs> smash it with a sledgehammer. <laughs> what are you doing here? Ah, oh, uh, uh, we're just shifting a bit of furniture for Mr Rigsby. But it's a coffin! Has someone died? Uh, we thought he had, but it appears we made a mistake. You certainly have. He's alive and kicking. <laughs> <laughs> That. Are you all right, Mr. Rigsby? <laughs> Thank God I kept my head. I learned that during the war. Yes, after all, it's only a coffin. <laughs> oh, oh, look at their faces. They've gone as white as sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Terrified of the Grim Reaper, eh? <laughs> Hi, Ozzy. <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you.